how to make your meditation much, much deeper. Three advices that everybody can use. We just need to stabilize our focus, to have more energy and to have as much stable posture as possible. Watch this video till the end and you will know how to make your meditation much deeper. So you cannot perform meditation. It's like tomato. You cannot perform, you cannot create tomato. You can only create conditions for the tomato. You can work with the ground, you can put water on it. You need to ensure that there is enough sun for the tomato and there is no parasites. And only then tomato will grow and give you fruits. So the same with the meditation. We can only create conditions and then meditation will happen and fruits of meditation will come to us. So how to do that? Three life hacks that will help you with the tomato and meditation also. Let's start. But first of all, why meditation? Once again, we need to talk a little bit about it. If you will meditate, you will see that the amount of stress that you have during your day will dramatically goes down. So only this one reason is already enough, already enough. It will improve your life. I don't know how many times you will see that. But in the same time, there are much more benefits. For example, if you will meditate every day, at least for a few minutes or maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. <laughs> Actually, I know that some people can meditate for 12 hours. Um, I myself also meditate one hour and one day I did it for two hours. So it's really interesting. Anyway, if you will meditate every day, even for a few minutes, you will see that your ability to focus, to have a stable focus on something, on your work, on your marriage, on your children's, on your pet, um, on anything actually. If you play games, on the game. So your ability to focus will grow up dramatically also. Because during the meditation, we actually do nothing. The only thing that we do is just focus. And in the same time, we actually do nothing. Because we do not pay attention to our thoughts. We do not try to avoid our thoughts. We just need to be. And that's it. We just need to be. And we need to have a certain focus. And that's it. So when you practice attention and focus, you will see that it will become your quality. So you cannot meditate and after that not to pay attention to another little things. But these little things create a very big difference. For example, I know the story that happens with one big American businessman. Um, I don't remember the name, but uh, I think it was Dale Carnegie. So one day people come to him and ask him just one question. How you did this big amount of money? Please tell us. When he respond to them, he give them a piece of paper and said, just look at it constantly, without paying attention to something else. Just 30 seconds. And all of them, all these people who came to him, they did and mistakes. They watched here and there a little bit like this. <laughs> so, and they blinked also. So, after that, he said, See, you cannot just pay attention for 30 seconds. I can pay attention. I can pay attention for five minutes. This is the difference. So, I'm not trying to say that if you will meditate, you will have much more money. Maybe not. But maybe yes. <laughs> it depends on. Many, many things, not only on your ability to focus, but your ability to focus will determine how much attention you will pay to your business, how much attention you will pay to your family, how successful will be your business and how successful will be your family, how successful your life will be. This is the thing. This is what attention and focus can give to you. So now about these three things that can improve our meditation and make it deeper, much deeper. Let's start. If 
even a cat want to know the secrets of meditation? The first secret is... First of all, your ability to focus. We need to improve this. Because without focus, no meditation can be. No meditation can exist without focus. So we need to improve it. How we can make it? How we can make it happen? So, um, for example, you can check yourself. Uh, there are a certain type of people. Actually, it's around 90%. <laughs> so, so you can check yourself. If you're messaging and watching TV show and, I don't know, for example, cooking in the same time, what does it mean? This means that you do not pay whole attention to the TV show. You do not pay the whole attention to your phone, to messaging. And you do not pay whole attention for cooking. It doesn't mean that you cannot do all these two things properly. Maybe you have a big amount, you have a big ability to pay attention. Maybe. But for most of the people, it means that they will do all these things halfway. They will type something, they will watch something. If you will ask them to repeat what they said three minutes ago in the TV show, they do not know. <laughs> Maybe they will say something. But you will see that they didn't pay whole attention to it. And even if you pay your attention to something, it doesn't mean that you will understand something. But if you pay half or one third of your attention, it definitely means that you will lose some piece of information. So the same with the meditation. And this is why we need to pay attention to everything, whole attention. And we can practice it every day. We don't even need to sit in the meditation for practicing focus. We just need to do one thing at a time. For example, if you listen music, you just listen your music. If you're running, you just run. If you're cooking, you just cook. Watching TV show, that means that you only do this. If you watch a film with your husband, for example, so then you please watch only the film. Don't type. <laughs> uh, don't try to read something or watch something in Instagram, for example. Just watch the TV show or the film with your husband. Maybe you know when some people are eating, if you ask them for something, they will tell you, when I'm eating, I'm only eating. I'm not talking. So, this is the thing. We need to do one thing at a time. I know that now, uh, not every time it is possible, but it is a practice. Definitely, we can do three things at a time. And maybe we even can do it properly. Maybe. But the thing is that as much as possible try to do only one thing and pay whole attention to it if you do three things at a time if you need to do such thing you pay the whole attention to these three things practice focus this is the first because after some time it will become our quality and we need this quality in the meditation because during the meditation if before the meditation you walk here and there watch here and there, you didn't pay attention to anything. When you will sit in the meditation, you will not have ability to pay attention, to focus. We need to practice attention. We need to practice focus during our life, during our day. Today, we need to practice it. Pay attention to every little thing that you can meet in your life. And it doesn't matter how important or not important it is. You just pay attention to everything that you have in your life because it is your life and during the meditation you will need this ability to focus so this is why focus the second secret is diet we need to change our diet a little bit so during the meditation we need to have a lot of energy we cannot, you know, be like this during the meditation. You will see that when you are very, very um, lazy or sleepy, you cannot pay attention. 
you cannot pay attention. I will ask you for something, you will say, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, it is not possible to have a very good focus during the meditation if you do not have energy. So, this is why we need much more energy that usually we use. For the meditation, you need to be in a very energetic mood. And then we sit still. And we don't use any energy for watching on something, on hear something, or touch something. We do not move. We just sit absolutely still. Because we do not want to spend even a piece of energy. This is why we do not move. So, because of this, during the meditation we need a lot of energy. How we can create a lot of energy? First of all, you know where we take energy? From the food. So, you will see that, for example, after meat, after very hard food for, digest, for, for digestive system, if you will eat something, mm, something heavy, like meat, you will see that after that maybe you will want to sleep, <laughs> or at least you will want to lay down, or you will have less energy. Because when you eat heavy food, after that your body will want to lay down and recover for some time. Because first one or one and a half hour, this heavy food will take energy to digest it. After that, maybe little by little, it will give energy back. But if you eat, for example, something very light, like banana or apple, you know, some fruits or some vegetables, if you eat something fresh, you will see that you will have much more energy because this is a very light food. Just imagine it. How much energy, uh, how much difficult it will be for your body to... Uh, to digest, uh, for example, chicken, and how much energy, how much time you need for, I don't know, apple. Instinctively, you know that apple will be digested much faster, much faster. And the same with any fruit, any vegetable. There are some exceptions, but mostly it's about any fruit and any vegetable, any berries also. So, what we need to understand about it, it is just that we can eat much more fresh food. You will see, you will not die. <laughs> Some people think that if you will try to eat uh, more fruits and more vegetables, you will become a vegetarian and without meat you will die. <laughs> this is absolute ignorance. <laughs> because there are people who are vegetarians just from childhood. And there are also people who started to be a vegetarians and they play Olympic Games and they win, you can just check in the Google. You will see there are lots of people like this. And if you will not eat chicken and beef and pork, you will not die. <laughs> you, can, you can just believe me. But even if you think that you want to eat this food, meat and uh, chicken, yeah. So if you want to eat such a food, no problem. Just add to your diet more fruits more vegetables uh, i'm speaking about fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and fresh berries not cooked fresh this is the key for a big amount of energy during your meditation so this is why the third secret is yoga especially yoga asanas because during the meditation, <laughs> you know, you can sit on a chair, you can sit, actually you can sit whichever way you want. But there is a proper way to sit during the meditation. Because if you will sit like me in Ardha Siddhasana, or in Siddhasana, or in Padmasana, it is also possible. <laughs> so if you will sit properly during your meditation, you will see that the amount of energy that you can have and you can use for focus will be much more. Because um, there are certain yoga mudras and it, it is also a yoga mudra when we sit like this. Yoga means union, union of the body, of your mind, of your energy, of your emotions 
and thoughts, union of you with whole the cosmos, with whole life on the planet. Yoga means this, unity. So some asanas, some postures, we call yoga asanas. That means that some postures, some asanas can help you to perceive the unity of the whole cosmos with you. Not on the level of your thoughts. It's not that you should understand by your brain, uh, by your thoughts, that there is some connections. It is also super good. But if you want to make it your experience, if you want to become a yogi, you don't need it. You don't even need it. You just need to perceive. Because when you look at apple, and this is red apple, but you see some part of the apple is black. You don't need any education. You don't need any knowledge. You don't need any thought process for understanding that instinctively that this is not a good apple and you should not eat it. At least this part of this apple. So the same with yoga. You don't need education about yoga. You just need to perceive it. You just need to know it instinctively. How you can know something instinctively? Because it is very deep inside you. You know it from the inside. This is what we can achieve by meditation. So asanas, if you practice asanas, you will see that you will have much more ability to focus and to perceive the reality as it is. And it will grow by the time. And you will see that after some time, you will feel connection with many, many things around you. Not that you will understand by your thoughts, emotions and, uh, you know, mindset uh, by education that you are connected. You will see these connections very instinctively. It will be deep inside you. And this is a kind of yoga, a kind. Uh, so asanas definitely will help you with the meditation. But in the same time, the most important thing that for meditation, we need to sit in a proper way. If you will try to sit like me just right now, I think most of the people will not have ability to sit like this even 10 minutes without any, <laughs> you know, pain will come, discomfort will come. But if you want to build muscles, you go to gym. If you want to create a strong body, that can sit in any posture without any discomfort, muscle discomfort, skeletal system discomfort, organs discomfort. You just want to create a strong body, a flexible body that can sit properly. And you can use it for your meditation. You will see how much it will improve your meditation if you will sit like this in a proper way. Of course, you can use cushions here and here, and uh, in your back also, you can use, you can put cushions. But this is not the reason. For the first time, it is okay. For maybe for the first year, when you are just practicing, when you started, maybe for the first months, it is okay. But after some time, if you practice a proper yoga asanas, you will see that your ability to sit will increase. And there is two things about it. First of all, we need to create a body that can sit for a long time in a proper posture. This is why yogasanas. And second thing is, when we do yogasanas, the level of our relaxation will be increased, very much increased. So we need to be relaxed and yogasanas can help with this. And in the same time, our body have its own inertia. Our body have its own compulsiveness. So yogasanas will dramatically drop down the level of inertia and compulsiveness in our body. Of course, there is a compulsiveness in our mind and inertia also. But this is also will be affected. But there are another practices for the mind. But for the body, it is a perfect instrument. Just yogasanas, 84 asanas, just 84 postures that we can perform. We actually do not need all the 84. We just need few postures. So if you will do a certain asanas in a certain way, you will see that after some time, 
you will build a body that can sit still, that can sit without any compulsions, without any, you know, I cannot see it, I cannot see it, pain here, there. <laughs> I just want to stand up and then maybe once again meditate. Not like this. Body just sit and that's it. You can sit. You need such a body if you want to meditate. And you can create such a body if you want to meditate. So this is why Yogasanas. Definitely, it's one of the most important rule for the meditation, that you prepare your body for the meditation. In the end, I should say that it is not that we can sit and meditate. It is not like this. We can create conditions for the meditation. Because I can give you instructions how to meditate, but it will never happen if there are no conditions. If your body cannot sit still in a proper posture, if you do not energy, if you want to sleep, if you have just little ability to pay attention, to focus on something, is if your consciousness, if your mind is just want something here, then want something there, think about this, about that. If you have such a mind, you definitely need to meditate, believe me. <laughs> but in the same time, we need to work upon our qualities, our qualities of our qualities of our body, qualities of our mind, qualities of our energy. So we need to improve all these three things. Only then, maybe one day, when all these things will be built up properly, you will see that meditation will become absolutely fantastic. I wish you absolutely wonderful, fantastic, amazing meditation. Namaskar.